This is a very sad and difficult film to make. You all know by now that Dr. Michael Mosley recently died while on holiday in Greece. I worked with Michael Mosley at BBC Specialist Factual. Specialist Factual makes science and history films. Together we worked on many films. He was a brilliant broadcaster. He knew how to connect with the public. And he was always prepared to put himself, his body, on the line to demonstrate wonderful science and interesting medicine. But ultimately, his final experiment on himself that sadly killed him should not go unrecognized. Today, let's talk about what killed Michael Mosley that nobody is saying. Heat stroke. Us humans only survive in a small Goldilocks temperature range. Anything too cold or anything too hot will kill us. In a single day in Chicago, Illinois, 95 people were hospitalized by becoming too hot, heat stroke. Out of those 95 fellow humans that were hospitalized, they all died. 100% death rate. Most in a few days, some in a few weeks, and the rest fatally killed shortly afterwards. Heat stroke will kill you. And specifically, gentlemen out there, it kills men. I have personal experience of this. Listen up. I lived in the Midwest USA in the state of Wisconsin, which gets jolly hot in the summer. And my neighbor died of heat stroke. He went out to mow the lawn, cut the grass in the hot sun of one afternoon. Coming inside super hot, he went to his giant American fridge and took a nice refreshing drink of ice cold water. Uh, dead. Heart attack. Listen up, guys. Most heat stroke victims are men like you. Heat stroke is deadly. It's an irreversible disease. Think of a raw egg and a hard boiled egg. That's exactly what happens to your internal organs. First, your soft, squishy liver goes hard. Your brain compensates for that organ damage, desperately trying to get you out of the heat. You become confused and most commonly pass out under a rock in Greece. Sadly, Michael Mosley's body could never have survived that amount of stress and specifically a core temperature over 40 degrees Celsius. It'll kill you. And this problem is getting worse. Even here in northern Western Europe, this is the number of people who died of heat stroke in Europe recently. Any sustained core body temperature over 39, 40 degrees is deadly. And our Earth is getting hotter. There are parts of our planet today that are becoming uninhabitable. Anywhere in orange, you could die of heat stroke. Anywhere in red, you need to move. In chaps, why are you and I more vulnerable? Well, because we tend to go out in the sun, we do strenuous activity during the day. Women are smarter. Plus, men have elevated heart problems. Any male over the age of 50 could easily die of a heart attack if put under extreme stress. Uh, heat stroke? So in the very sad death of Dr. Michael Mosley, who I personally miss, we should all learn a lesson. Do not go out in the midday sun. Any day when the temperature is above about 35 Celsius can kill you. Keep hydrated and covered up. Most of all, seek shade immediately. If you live in a high building, seek the basement. It's normally cooler. Hot air rises. We don't have air conditioning in this 16th century water mill here in France. So I often come down here on a super hot day to lie and watch movies in this room, which is our home theater. I do not go for strenuous walks in the midday sun, I do not cut the grass. If you are caught in that situation, listen to what your body is telling you. Are you becoming confused? Do you have a splitting headache? Is it difficult to think? Those are some of the very early symptoms of the irreversible disease called heat stroke. 
stay cool out there. And very, very sadly, let's all learn a final lesson from Dr. Michael Mosley, who was almost definitely killed by getting too hot. The truth is out there.